Okay, I'm back everybody. I wanted to do a little show and tell on the plasma ball running off a of spooky and just redo or go over the switches again and the connectors. Uh, this was the original uh, plasma ball that I did. The ones that I'm doing now look very, very similar, except that um, I've got color-coded um, RCA phonos. The red is, we'll call it uh, the primary, and we'll call the black the gating. And uh, bring it up a little closer so you can see um, a red and a black. This switch here corresponds to this RCA phono, and this switch here corresponds to this RCA phono. This one's the gating, and this is the primary. All right. Um, something to uh, consider. I have a great deal of difficulty once I start firing up the plasma ball to uh, control my computer. Uh, the electric field uh, plays havoc with the computer. Uh, it'll also play havoc with your spooky. So I'm shipping these with uh, three foot cables. Try to keep the uh, spooky a um, couple of feet away if you can minimally. Um, this cable right here right now is probably, um, I got it bundled up here, it's probably only keeping the plasma ball about a foot and a half to two feet away. Yeah, maybe two feet away. Um, it could interfere with the operation of your spooky. Um, this does put out one heck of an electric field. I mean, it's just amazing. Okay, let's go over the switches. Um, let's unplug this. I know I did this once before. Um, but I just want to go over it again and maybe add some tin bits like I just did. Uh, try to keep your spooky as far away as possible from the uh, plasma ball. Um, and my computer is at least three or four feet away. Um, it's over the back where I'm turning towards you. You'll probably see me uh, doing a little turn side of the screen. Um, and it still interferes with my computer. Uh, but thank goodness it doesn't stop the video recording. As long as I don't try to move with the cursor around, I can uh, recover. Uh, I mean, I can capture a, a video. So I just plugged in uh, the spooky. Um, red, you can think of the red output uh, marker on, uh, or the red marker on the output one of the spooky. They sort of correspond right to red. And although it's a blue-green or uh, on output two, uh, whatever your secondary wire is, um, put that onto the uh, secondary or gating um, of the plasma ball. Um, okay, let's just turn it on. With both switches down and I turn it on, it comes up active with its uh, internal uh, frequency oscillator. It has a uh, fixed frequency. It, it's running somewhere around uh, 28 kilohertz and it has no gating. The plasma ball has a three position switch. The um, off position is of course all the way to the left. The middle position is on and the extreme right position is on with microphone. But during the modification the microphone does not like to see the extra resistor I tag on that line and everything. So on some units, it barely works. Some units, it doesn't work at all. Um, so it looks like the two positions on the bottom, the right and the middle, are almost identical. Um, I found that I actually got a couple of plasma balls in, about uh, 18 of them so far, uh, for uh, modification. And I've got a couple of them where the microphone just plain didn't work. So that part of the circuit on this $20 plasma ball is not top-notch. It is not top-notch. It's like sub. <laughs> um, I actually had a couple of um, uh, units that just didn't work on that uh, particular position. It's of no concern to us because that's not how we're going to be using the spooky and the plasma ball. So right now, I have it in the middle position. Okay, all the way down, like I said, on this switch here that I'm pointing to um, means that I'm going to run on the internal oscillator. All the way down here means that I am not using gating. 
I'm not going to gate this on and off. These, these switches have three positions. The middle position on each of them, I just flip, is an off position. So it turns off uh, either gating or um, uh, major frequency. But having either one in a middle position is effectively like an extra off switch. Doesn't just doesn't turn off the power. The power's still running. So having either one of these in the middle position, it's off. So just remember that if you're saying, "Oh, my thing doesn't work," just make sure that you don't have either um, switch in the middle middle position. The up position. The up position is going to run off the spooky or whatever function generator you're using. You could be using an FY2300. Um, you could be using a, a eBay special for $23. Uh, any function generator that can deliver these parameters. I'm going to read them off to you. In fact, I'll try to show them to you. You might be able to see them if I can hold things still. Okay, channel one right now is set for 25 um, kilohertz. I have an amplitude of 6 volts plus 100 offset and a duty cycle of 30 percent. I'm going to tell you keep your duty cycle on channel 1 down to about 33 percent or lower. You go any higher there's a thermal cutoff in the plasma ball that will detect that the transistor driving transistor is getting too warm and it'll shut down you'll be waiting more than you will be running if you uh, run over 33, 33% duty cycle on several frequencies. Some frequencies, I'm not gonna explain the, how it works, but some frequencies you can run forever. But most frequencies, most of the low frequencies and the high frequencies, you will heat up that uh, uh, tra driving transistor. When these come stock, no modifications, that is approximately what the uh, duty cycle is of the internal oscillator, 33%. Okay, so you've been told, uh, you've got some new information. Always, always, always use a square wave. Always use a square wave. Okay, so I have the up position, but I have one of the switches in the middle, so it's not going to work. So I'm going to turn it down, and it's running, no gating. That's like gating is off and it's running off the spooky and it's running just beautifully and it'll run forever I've run it for hours and hours and hours how many hours 10 hours uh, ran it overnight um, it'll just keep running and you won't overdo the uh, um, you won't overdrive the uh, tr driving transistor to the transformer it will not uh, trip the uh, uh, thermal uh, switch but Bring it up to 50 or higher. Yeah, you're going to trip that switch. Now, tripping the switch is not deadly. It's not bad. It just protects the unit. And like I said, you'll be waiting for it to uh, cool down all the time. Uh, you do not want to really do that. Um, okay. Continuing on. If I want to have gating, I already have channel 2 connected to the um, plasma ball. So if I want to do gating, I, middle position is off, remember. All the way up. And look at that, or look at that. What do I got for a, there we go. Okay, so let's go over the settings on this one too. I got channel two set for 10 uh, volts amplitude. That's the major difference between, well, besides frequency. Um, gating, gating needs a little bit more voltage um, than the six volts that I have on the frequency. It's a function of the, of the circuit. I used uh, the internal transistors that came with the circuit. They needed a little more drive when I put in a 10K resistor where I put it in. And um, so we're gating at, and I got a fuzzy connection here. Okay. Or I got the spooky, oh, I have the spooky too close to the plasma ball. You see that little extra flickering and so forth? So you just got an example of keeping the spooky a little ways away from the plasma ball. Um, that futziness was, the spooky was too close. The electric field was actually screwing up the uh, um, 
the smoky. Like I complain, it screws up my uh, 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 computer. Okay, well, that's a great uh, video extra. I didn't expect to get that little bonus in this video. Okay, so like I said, the settings, I'm going to say them out verbally. Um, I've got a square wave on the gating. I've got a frequency of 1 hertz, and I'll change that gating in a few minutes. Um, I have an amplitude of 10 volts. So use when you use, do gating off the spooky, use 10 volts. Just do it. Um, it's what I suggested in the, um, um, in the write-up on the uh, website. And duty cycle, you can use almost any duty cycle. Um, gating doesn't uh, cook the, the, uh, the um, driving transistor. Uh, you can gate at 50% is where it's at now. Very typical. Probably most people will always gate at 50. Or you can do other things. You can gate. I'm going to gate at, uh, I'm going to select channel 2. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start over again. Select channel 2. Get down to the amplitude. Switch down to duty cycle. And right now I'm gating at 30%. Hard to tell the difference between 30 and uh are 40%. Hard to tell the difference. 30%. It might look like a little more flashing. 10%. Okay, so it's 10% on, 90% off. So you can really see um, a gating of uh, just 10%. 10% on, 90% off. And of course, I can go the opposite way. 90% on, 10% off. Now, 99.9 .9 is like 100%. You can't even see the uh, thing flash off. 50 is common. So I'll go back to 50, and that's where we'll leave it. So those are some real basic basics um, on running the uh, plasma ball. Um, this video will be rather short. Well, actually, it isn't. It's 12 minutes. So I'm going to add this to um, uh, the website, and I hope all of you will enjoy your new toy when you get it. That's not really a toy, although it's made from a toy. And um, stay healthy and well. Uh, have a very nice day.